Here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Kicking off a brand new week with potential for some thunderstorms over the next couple of days. Just isolated thunderstorms are possible tomorrow. I'm really not expecting many tomorrow. A little bit better chance on Wednesday for some scattered thunderstorms and a certain area favored for that to happen, which I'll show you here in just a moment. And Memorial Day weekend coming up and more triple digit heat will greet us for the Memorial Day weekend. Here's what's happening outside right now. Just a few clouds working their way through the area, mainly mid and high level clouds, but no thunderstorms or anything like that. In fact, Texas is kind of cloud free for the most part and up here in Oklahoma where they had those nasty tornadoes last night. They're getting a break with no thunderstorms going on. 18 tornadoes in the United States yesterday, most in Kansas and Oklahoma. Right now, the winds are about 10 to 15 miles per hour across much of the area. A little bit lighter winds off to the west, but I think what you'll notice tonight, the winds are going to come up a little bit and stay kind of in that 10 to 20 range as we go through the overnight hours. Temperatures ranging from 89 in Brady to 97 in Ozona, Big Lake, and 98 in Sterling City, and 99 in Robert Lee. San Angelo showing 98 at Mathis Field right now. I've seen 99 as our top temperature so far today. Here's how we stack up against the rest of Texas. And well, we're in the hotter part of the state per normal, not uh, so nothing surprising there. And we've got some 80s farther to the east in East Texas. Let's look at the potential for thunderstorms tomorrow. I've got an isolated threat mentioned for Tuesday and mainly across the eastern counties. Doubtful we'll see anything here in San Angelo tomorrow. We could, but wherever they happen, Level one on a scale of five, low risk for large hail damaging winds. We get to Wednesday and the chance goes a little bit higher, especially for Ballinger, Coleman, Paint Rock, Eden and Brady in that level two slight risk. More of the area kind of covered in the level one risk. And again, damaging wind hail on Wednesday will be a possibility. Look ahead, Futurecast. Just some clouds working your way through the area tonight, not anticipating any thunderstorms uh, for the region tonight. During the day tomorrow, again, partial clearing for a time, then the clouds return. Our model not picking up on any thunderstorms by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, though one or two could pop up on the dry line. And then Wednesday through Wednesday morning, things are pretty quiet. Wednesday afternoon, we'll kind of watch this area over here to see if we can generate some thunderstorms. Your forecast for tonight near 73 for a low temperature, kind of warm, but the wind is going to be south at 10 to 20. So we'll have that breeze under partly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, 98 for high temperature, rain chance, I'm calling it isolated, a partly cloudy and hot day and a windy day. South wind tomorrow, 15 to 25 miles per hour. So we have the isolated chance of storms tomorrow, the 30% chance on Wednesday with a high of 97, 20% chance on Thursday with a high of 100. And those triple digits are back in force all the way through the upcoming weekend.